Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my France campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD campaign. And this video is going to be a little bit shorter today, as I have two of my campaign videos to do, and I'm absolutely wiped uh, coming home from work. So uh, we'll probably play this battle and do a couple of turns and then end it there. And apologies in advance, guys, this is going to be a little bit more laggy as well. The performance pack that was uploaded for Attila has really allowed me to use my new PC a lot more for Attila based mods and uh, base Attila, but for some reason I don't think the performance pack works yet for the Attila campaign, so you can see when I'm moving around it can get um, a little bit of ripping, it's a little bit framey, so apologies in advance for that, but I, I just can't be bothered right now to connect my PC, or my older PC, and then install the mod and whatnot uh, for today, so I will maybe look at doing that for the future. But uh, yeah, you can tell it's uh, ripping pretty badly, which is pretty ridiculous considering the specs of my PC. But someone did leave down in the comments saying that if I fool around with my cores a little bit and only have four or five of them running, that it's uh, a lot more stable. So I will do some tests, do some research on that and see exactly how to do that and uh, test to see if it gets any better. But in, in 12.12, not the campaign, so like in the battles, uh, not using the campaign scripts, uh, it works wonderfully. I've been uploading pretty much exclusively from my newer PC from, I'd say, maybe a few months ago. Ever since this performance pack came out, it's really, really helped the ripping as I'm moving around the battlefield. But anyways, uh, enough of that. We are facing the Flemish. As you can see, they have gathered their whole host together, and they are coming towards us at a pretty healthy rate. Now I've got all my crossbows over here on the one side, and then I also have some archers as well. And I kind of want to get the archers to focus on their pikemen, because they do have some pikemen back here. They've got two units of Flemish hooked pikemen. And I don't know, but I think that's pretty much all that they have of value. Uh, the militia crossbowmen, I mean, mine are probably going to be better, because they're medium crossbow infantry. These are light crossbow infantry, so I think I should have them there. And I think I have more cavalry than they do as well. And it looks like they're actually not even waiting for their reinforcements to arrive, which is excellent for me. Uh, let's see. Everyone selected there that I want to. Oh, you know what? I've got them all in shield wall, so I don't even think I'll bother moving them forwards. We can just fast forward this just a little bit. And the reason I deployed so far back is because I didn't want them to be hidden in the trees. I want to have as much time to fire on... on uh, these units as possible. Uh, they've still got a ways to get into my range. Let's move the uh, Chevalier over a little ways. And let's get the melee cab over here as well. See if we can peel some of their cavalry away. Okay, uh, archers. Uh, yeah, the hooked pikemen are quite a distance away. I'm watching that cavalry very closely. Let's get a couple of them running around. See if we can maybe even go for the general. And if they're going to be foolish and move their units closer to my cavalry, I will go ahead and grab onto them as they try and escape. Yeah, there we go should definitely be able to have them. Yeah, it's 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 kind of annoying, but uh, the Ryzen 7 processors, they're really good for editing and whatnot, but they're not so good for uh, gameplay. At least I found. Oh gosh, that's going to hurt. Let's move over to the side here. Pull back. Yeah, gonna might lose that archer unit, unfortunately. Ooh, pulling their general out of melee. That's what I like to see. Being a little sloppy with my cavalry, too. Uh, okay, archers. 
or crossbows. Get those, get a couple volleys on those hook pikemen ASAP. Let's get the general over here as well. He can have a little bit of fun. Run down that unit for me. Let's go after these crossbows here. And yeah, the general's just getting annihilated. Excellent. That is really good to see. And yes, the Flemish hook pikemen here. Let's go into uh, slow motion. Take a look at these units. This, of course, is Azerin Fox's faction, or one of his factions. Let's see a good volley here. Come on. I'm waiting for the crossbows to just open up. No? Are they not going to fire? I mean, they're, they're kind of firing, but it's a little sporadic. It's a little underwhelming, to be honest, as far as what I was thinking might happen. Uh, we do have some crossbows over here. Nice. They have broken, which is excellent. Let's push in over here. And we do have some more archers coming in, so I'm going to have to free up some of my cavalry soon. Let's pull back. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Charge! <laughs> yeah, it's a little late. It's a little late to get those units out of there. Yes, General just running down. Okay, let's uh, send some help in here. Send some help into the flanks as well. Same over here. And let's get these two units into the spears. Careful of my general. And yeah, going into the hook and das there. Which isn't ideal. Let's try and uh, get around these spears. Grab all of these units of cavalry that have moved in around. Yeah, someone expressed interest. Uh, I can't remember down in the comments who exactly it was. But uh, maybe getting a, a full 20 stack of uh, Frankish cavalry for the king to just ride around with and reinforce armies as necessary. So that could be something that we could do. Uh, the cavalry is very expensive, so that's the only reason why I would say maybe we could do that a little bit later in the game. And good. So let's get all this cavalry to run down these retreating units. Uh, they're pretty much sitting ducks now, as far as this infantry is concerned, so I really don't care about them that much, to be honest. We got over here seven crossbows. That's fine. Very good. And crossbows. Just come and set up over here. Let's get the archers right behind that. And the spears. Let's get them formed up in front. Uh, we should probably send something after that. But again, really successful battle here. So we're really kind of being getting a little lucky, I think, with our battles. Oh, the lag is real, my goodness. But yeah, I think we've got this. These crossbows, though, holding on, my goodness. Oh, there we go, getting some volleys in. Probably going to kill some of my cavalry, though. Okay, volley on those hook and boss. Come on, you guys, pick it up. Very good. Yeah, so I'll fool around with it before our next episodes, which will be on Tuesday. And again, guys, this won't be a long episode. Some of you have been asking me if this is going to go for, like, long campaign victory objectives. And probably not. What I'm thinking of doing is as soon as I get rid of Toulouse, I'm just going to try and make as many allies for myself as possible on mainland, like the mainland of Europe. And maybe we'll just have a big England versus France showdown. And I'll just try and conquer the Isle. Uh, because they're already putting out a new update for the campaign already. So, I mean, I'm, I don't see myself doing this for too long. 
That's excellent. Kill them all. Slaughter them. Yeah, looking at uh, between 18 and 22 frames right now, which is pretty horrible. With the performance pack, it's, it's up around 30, which is nice and smooth. And then without the performance pack working, when I'm moving around, and especially when I'm rotating the map, uh, it'll drop like down to 5 almost. So that's why I always used my older PC, because the old, the old AMD processor that I had seemed to function much better for Attila for some reason. But uh, the Ryzen 7, like, I'm really underwhelmed with its performance in, in gameplay, at least for Attila. Uh, the other games I don't really have a problem with. But again, uh, time will tell if the if uh, fooling around with the cores kind of does anything to help that. And there we go. No point in running down those troops. So I will see you guys back on the campaign map. And there we go. So actually, almost that entire army it was wiped out, except for a few units of cavalry and one of the pike units. Uh, Garrison looking pretty worse for wear as well. We should be able to auto-resolve that quite nicely. Let's just take a look at the kills here. 233, that's nice. 268 and 233. General 103 and the king 101. And we'll go ahead and take on the warriors. in the state are known to have lavish tastes these men remember with fondness uh, those who help fund such tastes oh yeah trade rate sure why not and the enemy was killed in battle excellent Papal favor increase. Uh, you have pleased His Holiness by completing his task. Your papal favor is increased. Excellent. Uh, do, 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 do. Construct a building in the following chain religion. Six turns. Uh, was that mission succeeded, right? Yeah, okay. This faction was no match for their enemies. They are no more. Wow, so the Holy Roman Empire is already defeated. Spread to Paris. Dang, okay. Turn my tales of glory. A large number of mercenaries have flocked to your lands. Mercenary contacts. But I don't think that we have any abilities to hire mercenaries. That hasn't been added in yet. But we could... What is this? Oh, is this another general nearby? Oh, we could probably auto-resolve that, though. Be protective. And didn't lose any full units. Excellent. And we will occupy. Commander. And that is ours. And so, yeah, we're going to have to figure out what to do with gaining the province here. But now focus is kind of on Toulouse down battle. south. Uh, let's crush this army real Sorry, quick. Uh, just ought to resolve that. Center of punishment, I guess it's better than nothing. Ready for battle. And what else do we have here? So we got the campaign movement, which is good. Battle movement speed is also nice. We can go for morale and unit recruits. And let's move. Oh yeah, we've got got disease there as well. I mean, we could go right in and siege it, but the problem is, is that's a really good garrison. A lot of archers. We do have the cavalry for it, which is good. Let's move over to here and get a few more units, I think. Could get some pikes would be nice, but I think some more crossbows. Well, no, I have to think of what's going to be useful here. Two more of them... 
and yeah, okay, we'll get, oh, I can only get one anyway. All right, let's just uh, go for the extra infantry then. Very good. And what were we going to build here? See, I always make plans in the last episode, and then I forget what I was planning in this episode. So what is this? This is a market town. So you've got a gibbet here. Maybe a sanitation building, possibly? Or was it food? Got a spirits maker, which is nice. Yeah, probably food is what we were doing. Because we've got a wheat farm here. This is also a market town. Blast furnace. Interesting. All right, and what about up here? Aha, so I think we definitely want to get a sanitation building here. One, here we go. Yeah, we definitely need some sanitation. And then this is a city square. Yeah, I forget what we thought would have been the best thing here. Merchant's quarters would be nice. Maybe the merchant's quarters, so the fairground. And that is most of our money spent up here. Yeah, yeah. so it looks like this is spreading, which is not good. It's causing some issues to our public order. But once we get the sanitation building in, we should be able to build it up relatively soon. Although not really, because that's going to take quite some time to get through. But I guess it's better than nothing. Over here, we've got some levels up as well. So let's go ahead and get that extra campaign movement range. And replenishment. And rating income. That sounds good. Commander. Wow, look at our range here. Can definitely move. Uh, we can actually cross right into England. That's pretty cool. So maybe this will be the army that will move into England. Would love to retrofit it with a few newer units here. So this sergeant arms here, does this count as a... Does this count as one of the noble units? Not exactly sure. But yeah, we've got a good solid amount of crossbows. I think I think five is plenty. Getting some axe sergeants in there. They've got like no missile block, but they might be a solid choice. Yeah, the spears are definitely a better shout, though. Getting these levies. And then we've got the... Gusarmier de Commune. It's just halberds. Yeah, I mean, like, that is a pretty solid force for now, I think. So that's fine. So, uh, yeah, we probably... Hang on, hang on, hang on. So what is this? This is a commune, which is a market town. So we can repair that. We've got a water mill here. Oh, I don't have enough to repair it, I see. We've got a spirits maker and a training grounds. Well, we can get rid of the training grounds. Guess we can keep the spirits maker, but we're going to need food here, probably. Yeah, we're, we're negative for food right now. All right, don't think there's anything else I can do, so end the turn.
defamation. So it looks like this gentleman and this gentleman are twin brothers, except they're 10 years apart. Interesting. Uh, so you have 63. Um, I'm going to ignore because I don't want him to be gaining... I don't want him to be gain, having more influence than me, so we'll just ignore that for now. We'll just let the balance of power shift. It's not going to shift to much. I wonder who is Trier allied with? Lorraine. To right here. Although, uh, actually, looks like Lorraine likes me. Yeah, they're pretty friendly. Public of Pisa as well. Can we get I trade? You on of the people. Oh, come on. Three hundred. Oh man, the the Italian states are greedy in this. Okay, yeah, we'll repair that. Uh, no, I don't want that. Get rid of it. If we move out of here, what's it like? You, yeah. What's our garrison? Is this providing a garrison? No, it's not. So I mean, that that's a good garrison. We've won battles with that before. If uh, there ends up being a rebellion. But I'm thinking we come right over to the edge here. Advance. Is that all? And do that. I'm thinking of maybe swapping these archers out for something else. Getting a few axe sergeants, maybe? Oops. 32, Yeah, I'm thinking maybe get getting three axe sergeants instead for flanking. Although we are going to be going up against the English, and we all know how they love their archers, but are my archers really going to best them is the thing. Well, we'll stick with what we have for now and see how it goes. Can always bring in the king. And I think that... Oh, what are they doing here? Okay. So we got three... Six units. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. So 14. What do I have? 15. <laughs> okay. Could... Oh, I can't... Can I get this guy? Because if I don't hit him now, he's going to just get more units. Yeah, so the balance of power isn't really with us. But I say we can do this, but unfortunately, as I said, it's going to have to be a bit of a shorter episode today because I still have to do the next part in my Senons campaign. But I'll look at trying, as I said, to fool around with my core settings. And maybe this battle will be a little bit smoother, but no promises. Uh, if, if it is pretty framey and you guys really would like to see more of the cinematic side of things, I can move it over to my older PC. It shouldn't be that hard to do it. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I should be having my first stream tomorrow, uh, which would be Sunday. Should start around 3.30 p.m. EST. And it'll probably go maybe for about three hours. Uh, just really chill. I haven't really even decided what games I'm going to play, but it will be over on Twitch. Uh, Celtic Warband YT, I believe, is my name. But I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description as well. So again, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.